So my clients often walk in wanting to have better clarity on their boundaries. So hello, I'm Nicole Song and I help career women live a more aligned life so they can really know their purpose. And you know, when people are coming in and they're talking to me about boundaries, they often tell me they're struggling to say no at work. And then the result is they are constantly overloaded with projects, more projects than they have capacity for and they're working hours beyond what they really wanna be doing where they struggle to say no to social engagements, so their calendar is completely overbooked and they really have no time for themselves. And they just wanna get better at setting boundaries. And one of the first things I say to my clients around this is great. Are you also being hard on yourself when you're not setting the boundary? And this is so common. The real mistake, what I see is not actually around setting the boundary itself. And of course we have to practice that to get good at that. The real mistake comes with a perfectionism that crops up when you're not doing it that well. And when you are not really practiced at setting boundaries and you're not and thinking you have to be a boundaries pro with no practice and no support. And this happens so much for people that they think, well, I've gotta be really good at this right away. When it actually takes some trial and error and some practice and even people like myself who do it a lot, I still struggle with it sometimes because boundaries really requires more of you. It requires more of you connected to yourself and a lot of clarity to set them well and effectively. So you're not going to actually be great at it right away. And that's totally okay. So when you're making a really good first effort and feeling like it didn't go well and you're beating yourself up for it, you're saying things like, oh, I should have handled that differently. You're criticizing your boundaries and you're actually compounding things and creating the perfect storm of judgment piled on, on top of already feeling like you don't have enough time and space in your life, which is really why you wanted to set the boundary in the first place. And so when we're in this perfect storm of judgment on top of lack of setting boundaries or setting boundaries imperfectly, the most important thing to do, and these are the first two things for you to do in general, is for you to actually set a boundary with your own inner critic and to actually say, okay, I'm not going to be hard on myself no matter how this goes. So if this goes well or it doesn't go well, I'm not gonna be hard on myself. I'm just going to make the attempt. And if it goes well, fantastic. Now you have some really great practice underneath your belt. And if it doesn't go well, now you can say, oh, wow, I really learned something here. There's something for me to understand around how to set boundaries effectively. If you only are ever perfect at setting boundaries, like that's just, first of all, not really possible. And then, you'll just start to get better and you want to learn and really thinking about not doing it so well as a learning opportunity is a really awesome awareness and place to move into. The second thing to do when it comes to your boundaries is to start to set trust your intuition and your own inner guidance system to set the boundaries rather than doing it from reaction. What I see so frequently is that people are setting boundaries from reaction that person crossed my boundary, this is going on. And they get really like, uh, uh don't you cross my boundaries rather than seeing it's important for us to get into a, a settled space to actually say, okay, I'm going to come from a grounded space, a, a space of clarity. And in that space of clarity, now I can start to set the boundary and not take on other people's energy or anger. And when you start to get better at really centering and grounding yourself, that's when you can actually set the most powerful boundaries. And it may not require you actually to do anything. Your inner guidance system will give you a cue of like, okay, do I need to say something? Do I need to do something different? Or do I actually just need to be centered and settled within myself? And that will allow me to figure out how to have space to do the things that are important to me and to say no clearly to other people when other demands or things are coming in. And when you can start to do that more consistently, you're actually going to not let the perfectionism run the show. And instead, you'll be recalibrating constantly into your own intuition and you're setting boundaries and really making daily de decisions from an intuitive space rather than from a reactive space. So if you're curious about how do I get more into this intuitive space, check out my five-day morning routine challenge. It's really about that calibration for yourself every single day so that you really can start to understand and tune into your own inner guidance system and have it be what is driving what you do every single day. So this video resonated, drop a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments below, questions you have around boundaries, and I will see you guys all again next week.